Hello, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Vignesh, and I lead product marketing for the Dynamics 365 supply chain portfolio at Microsoft. Joining me today are Lachlan and Kevin. Thanks, Vignesh. My name is Lachlan Cash. I'm a principal program manager working on the Microsoft Dynamics 365 intelligent order management solution. Hi. I'm Kevin Horlock. I'm a technical product marketing manager, but I focus on the uh, intelligent order management solution and supply chain management. In this session, we will learn about some of the challenges that companies are facing when it comes to supply chain agility. We will then showcase the latest innovation from Microsoft, the Dynamics 365 Intelligent Order Management, which is the first supply chain software from Microsoft in the Dynamics 365 portfolio. We will cover the technology stack, the platform and show how customers can adapt quickly and intelligently orchestrate fulfillment to gain the agility they need. With that, let's jump right in. So organizations today are seeing massive growth in digital commerce, mainly accelerated by the current pandemic. Based on a recent study by Forrester Consulting, which was commissioned by Microsoft, we found that nearly two thirds of the retailers expect over half of their sales to come from digital channels in the next couple of years. At the same time, over half of the companies felt that their supply chains were unprepared to meet those growing digital commerce needs. A lot of these organizations expe experienced delays due to longer fulfillment times and slower distribution due to the pandemic, and almost 37% companies felt that they lacked the supply chain technology they needed to meet the growing needs. Consumers today expect seamless omnichannel buying and after purchase experiences with multiple fast delivery options, irrespective of whether there is a pandemic or not. One bad experience or a delayed order can jeopardize losing a customer forever to a competing brand. So now more than ever, it's imperative for organizations to improve their digital commerce capabilities so they can better meet their customer needs, be more responsive, and gain the agility they need to adapt to new business models and stay profitable and relevant. We also learned from the research that a key priority for almost half of the organizations was enabling cost-efficient fulfillment. More than half of the organizations also wanted to get smarter with the way they operated by driving process automation and leveraging more and more AI and machine learning in their decision-making processes to minimize the human intervention. Companies need to centrally manage their entire life cycle of an order from intake to fulfillment so that they respond fast to constraints and disruptions and still deliver on the order promise. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Intelligent Order Management enables organizations adapt quickly and meet these future order and fulfillment complexities while supporting contemporary methods like buying online for in-store or curbside pickup. Traditionally, Companies face a trade-off between service levels and supply chain efficiencies. I will now hand it over to Lachlan, who will show how our latest innovation enables businesses to achieve higher service levels while also driving efficiencies and savings across the supply chain. We're introducing a new intelligent order management solution to address some of the changes that Vignesh was talking about. And we're doing it based on a few tenets, which is a modern open platform, intelligent fulfillment and real-time visibility. In the modern platform, we wanted to build pre-built connectors to existing systems, whether they're order channels like e-commerce systems, marketplaces, EDI providers or CRM applications, or fulfillment providers like warehouse systems, 3PLs, or POS store systems, as well as to delivery providers like parcel, freight, and delivery carriers. And we're doing this on top of the Power Platform. Specifically, we're introducing a new journey orchestration designer that allows you to build an order orchestration journey and we'll compile that to Power Automate. The data is sitting in the Microsoft Power Platform Dataverse, and that's the common entity that we're building on top of. The connectors that we're building cover order capture, order actions, and fulfillment and delivery carriers. Now, to build intelligence into the fulfillment provider, those order apps connectors provide events, and those events drive that order orchestration journey. 
And this is done through rules-based fulfillment. So we can do rules like least cost, least distance, which gives you the capability to orchestrate and determine which fulfillment provider you want to send that order to. We also wanted to provide real-time visibility with actionable fulfillment insights. And this is done by providing a real-time inventory service that we can use through that journey of the order. And we can make decisions like on hand to determine which fulfillment provider we need to send that order to. So let's have a look at this in action. I'm going to go have a, a look at a demonstration and in this example we're going to set up an order channel where we might be taking orders from a marketplace, a fulfillment provider where we might be using a 3PL to fulfill our orders and we're going to do delivery tracking through a parcel carrier. So intelligent order management is a SaaS based solution that you can try for free and then once you've set up you've done a POC you can turn that into a production environment. So we're going to configure the system. In this case, all we need to do is sign in. I can invite other members of my organization to collaborate with me. I'm going to skip that at this stage. Intelligent Order Management provides the actionable insights in terms of order, fulfillment, system monitoring, and daily events that we can look at to monitor the system. In our case, we're going to go into be guided through the setup. In this case, we have a few different things that we need to configure. Let's have a look at the connector setup. So we're going to set up three as we talked about. So I'm going to set up my order intake connector. All we need to provide is our credentials. Because of those pre-built connectors, we give you the ability to add connectors into your environment that you might use to common systems. All I need to do is make sure I'm registered in those systems and provide the credentials. The events and actions provided by those connectors will be used in the order orchestration and drive that order journey through your organization. If you need to change the mappings, you can do that in the connector as well. We're going to skip that in this example. Let's have a look at our fulfillment provider. In this case, we can look at the catalogs and we can find it. Again, all I need to provide because we're using out-of-the-box connectors is that connector that I need, register for that service and provide the credentials. As well, for the delivery carrier for common carriers, I can find that connector in the catalog, provide my credentials and we can add it into the system. So with a few clicks, we've set up both a connector for our order capture, fulfillment and delivery. We can move on to the other aspects of the system in terms of configuring insights, the orchestration that you'll see later. But that's the key goal of intelligent order management is provide a cloud-based SaaS solution that you can quickly get up and running and configure complex environments, whether you're working with dynamics-based systems or whether you don't use any dynamic systems at all. That's our intention for intelligent order management. Now I'm going to hand you over to Kevin. He's going to take you through some of the aspects of configuring that order orchestration journey. Thanks Lachlan. Wow, that was so powerful. So having heard about the scale and the breadth of the platform, let's expand further and reflect on some of the considerations around Dynamics 365 intelligent order management. In order to manage effectively the flow of data across the connectors we heard about from Lachlan, we then have to consider how to uplift this further with automation. And in doing so, there are a range of considerations to take into account. The fact that the data journeys are not occurring specifically within a single system, but potentially many systems, which may require to be dynamically reconfigured, means we need to enable automation and validation for a journey orchestration that can need to know the status of orders at every inbound and outbound stage, function at scale with virtually no human contact, leverage the real-time inventory positions, validate and adjust entity formats such as the units of measure, product codes and the address formatting, which in turn means we are bringing together the management and unification of orders and indeed returns leading to order optimization. If we consider what this could mean for a moment, we have multiple order sources, as Lachlan highlighted earlier through the connectors catalog. Each order could be formatted slightly differently. We could then have multiple and in tandem order fulfillment paths across our organizations with interactions with third party companies, such as logistic and transportation. Bringing this multitude of data together is where the Dynamics 365 Intelligent Order Management solution can excel. 
it can utilize the strengths of the Microsoft Power Platform and in particular start to leverage a common data service for what is now known as the Dataverse. This is where managing at scale for a journey orchestration is critical. The need to ensure visibility of on-hand inventory, minimal stock conditions, validation of data is key, all with complete automation. So how is automation being defined? Well, it's through an intuitive flow designer. The UX is built from the perspective of being visual, has scope to fork decisions and apply rules through an experience that is purposefully designed to be as close to low code as is manageable. This approach enables key individuals within organizations to define what happens in key order fulfillment scenarios, such as address formatting. They can create a library of policies which are in effect business rules, specifically to address scenarios, which in turn can be used within the order journey orchestration flow designer. With this library in place, the fulfillment optimization engine is enabling distributed order management to address scenarios and define policies, these business rules, for any scenario, such as least distance and least cost with a validated address all of which allows companies to define frictionless fulfillment of business strategies that Vignesh touched on earlier, like the uh, buying online and picking up in store, the pick up on curbside or ship to customer, or any other new micro fulfillment strategies. So let's dive in and have a look at some of the key elements of the orders journey orchestration. Earlier, Lachlan finished his demonstration on the order management setup user experience. Now, in this instance, I'm actually going to pick up from the orchestration subset of menus on the left-hand side here, where we have a breakdown of flows to policies to events and statuses. In my case, I have a predefined new orchestration flow as an example I can highlight for us today. And on the top right-hand corner here, you can see this blue box. This is a, a teaching bubble that will help individuals in the organizations that will use this to be guided through the experience of defining a new orchestration flow. Now, the orchestration flow is a top-down design, and we can see the, the fluidity of the design as it goes from the top, which is an order validation, down through the forking of decision trees. So on the right hand side here, I've got the opportunity to focus in on our policies, our business rules. And I have an example defined for minimum quantity. When I click through, I can see the condition builder. And this is where I can leverage, in effect, Boolean logic to define how the rule will be defined through the process of looking at the individual entities. So in my case, I'm looking at an entity focused on a product code. And I can also see I'm focusing on a quantity that is greater than one. So this order will always have a validation rule to ensure it is being triggered for a quantity of greater than one. And this is just a straightforward example of how the condition builder can be defined. We can add con a number of conditions into the flow. So for instance, you know, a common area that we will experience is that with different sources of orders, from different platforms, they will manage their data in different ways. And an address validation is a great example of how we'll have to manage that data. And using the condition builder that I showed a moment ago for the uh, minimum quantity, I can in effect define how I would look at an incoming address and validate it and maybe adjust it to fit the orchestration flow that I'm managing here. Now, I'm just highlighting a single flow. In actual fact, there will be numerous flows running in tandem. And with the fact that we are managing multiple order orchestration journeys at a time, we need to be able to be in a position to monitor and adapt to any circumstances that surface. And this is where we can start to drive those actionable insights that Lachlan touched on earlier where fulfillments are concerned. On the left-hand side of our menu, we have the Insights submenu. And underneath the fulfillment, I've got a Power BI dashboard that is in effect for a time zone period, such as the daily insights, is giving me a breadth of information for me to be able to monitor how the orchestrations are being fulfilled. 
So here I have an example that I'm fulfilling in excess of 10,000 orders over a period of a day. I'm fulfilling over 99%. And I could also be perhaps focusing in on a particular um, center, such as San Diego, to explore how that is performing as well. At which point we could then adapt and expand upon our orchestration journeys and add in additional policies and additional events as required. Okay, I'm going to pause and I'm going to pass back to Vignesh, who's going to take us further. Thanks, Kevin. Wow, that was really powerful. To summarize what you just saw, we showed you how Dynamics 365 Intelligent Order Management enables organizations to reimagine omnichannel fulfillment to meet future order volumes and fulfillment complexities. Businesses can intelligently orchestrate fulfillment and automate it with rule-based systems using real-time inventory data, AI, and machine learning. They can measure fulfillment effectiveness and model the fulfillment journey using easy-to-use designer tools. And lastly, organizations can get up and running quickly by seamlessly integrating with existing enterprise systems and easily scale to support new order intake, fulfillment, and delivery partners with pre-built connectors. Let's now spend a few minutes on some of the use cases to learn how organizations can benefit from deploying intelligent order management in their existing scenario. So Lachlan, uh, do I need to be an existing Dynamics 365 customer to use intelligent order management? Good question, Vignesh. When we initially built and looked at the models of building intelligent order management, we wanted to build it so that customers that didn't have any of the dynamic solutions could use intelligent order management with the existing solutions that they have in place and use that to connect to marketplaces, e-commerce software they might want to use to implement their business strategy. Do I need to use Dynamics Commerce as the e-commerce front end? Good question, Kevin. We built intelligent order management with many different models in mind. For customers that were using Dynamics, you can use the existing e-commerce capabilities to take orders into intelligent order management. But we knew customers might also use many different e-commerce, whether they're using um, commerce in the US, for example, and some other e-commerce software in another country. We can take orders from those multiple different e-commerce systems and orchestrate that journey through. What if I don't use Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management? Can I still use Intelligent Order Management? Good question, Vignesh. Um, it was one of our key models that we looked at for existing Dynamics customers that might use the advanced warehouse capabilities in supply chain. We wanted to be able to take those orders from any different order source and get it into that advanced warehouse. But when new customers use other warehouse solutions, whether it's a 3PL, uh, a third party warehouse solutions. And so you don't need Dynamics supply chain management to use intelligent order management. You can use that order orchestration to get it into other ERP solutions solutions and other fulfillment solutions. What type of logistics carrier connections will you support when intelligent order management ships? That's one of the key differentiators of intelligent order management. We have connectors to many different parcel carriers, freight carriers that are LTL and full truck load, and also new systems like locker systems. And that's one of the key differentiators of intelligent order management that we can have connectors out of the box to some of these systems. And then ISVs can build their own connectors to the software that they might have so that we can open up the ecosystem of connectors, no matter what type of fulfillment provider or delivery carrier you might want to use. What if I'm an ISV? Can I build a connector to intelligent order management from my software? One of the powers of the Power Platform is the ability to extend it. And that's what we wanted to collaborate with ISVs and software companies that might build their own connectors to the software that they have. This, because we're built on top of Power Automate, you can build your own connectors and add them into the ecosystem that intelligent order management can use. Thanks, Lachlan. Thanks, Kevin. And thank everybody for watching. As a next step, uh, please click on the links below to learn more about the product. You can also join our community. And uh, if you have a few minutes, please take the time to fill in the survey and let us know how we did. Thank you, everybody, and have a great day.